I'm really back with another Steam Deck video, and in this one, we're going to be looking at Battlefield 1. You know, looking at how well does it run on the Steam Deck, and how does it feel to play on the Steam Deck. You know, is it a good game to buy and play on the Steam Deck? Um, uh, just be aware, obviously, that one of the difficulties of this type of video is trying to translate how the game looks on a small 7-inch screen. Uh, 1280 by 800 uh, or 800 p in the case of the Steam Deck, and then you're watching it on your mobile phone, or you're watching it on, a, on like a, for example, a large computer monitor. If you watch it on your mobile phone, the footage probably looks even better than it is, and then if you're looking at a large monitor, it it probably looks worse. And also, the panel in this, this is a 512 gigabyte OLED Steam Deck, is really good. You know, it's very very sharp. The blacks are very black. The brights are very, very bright, and you know it looks fantastic. So bear that in mind as well before you make any judgments about uh, the quality of the graphics. Also, there's kind of roughly two types of people who are probably going to be watching this video: people who have already got a Steam Deck and you know what its limitations are, and you wanted to know, you know, should you invest your time and money in Battlefield One? Is it a good game to play on the deck? And also, those people who perhaps really like Battlefield 1, like me, for example, you really like Battlefield 1, it's one of your favourite games of all time, and you're thinking, ooh, is this a good justification to buy a Steam Deck so I can play Battlefield 1 mobile, you know? And for that, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below this video to my, my video that I've done about who I think the Steam Deck suits best. And for me, I think that... If you're thinking about buying a Steam Deck, the people who are best suited to a Steam Deck are the people who've already got a gaming rig, a PC gaming rig that plays AAA games, or you had one recently, and you've got a large Steam library, um, and you just want to play, play it on the go, because in that case, you'll probably know the frustrations and limitations of PC gaming. You know, things like different launchers, and sometimes you've got to fill around with things to get things work working properly. Um... And you'll also have some games on Steam which you can then start playing. If you're just on console, I don't, and when I say just on console, I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm saying if you're a console gamer or you haven't got anything at the moment, I would suggest the Steam Deck isn't the best way into PC gaming. Perhaps you're better off doing something like getting a PC uh, gaming laptop or a PC gaming uh, desktop, build up your Steam library, and then think about a Steam Deck and go into it that way. So, anyway... Back to Battlefield 1. Well, Battlefield 1, if you were to list my top five games of all time, Battlefield 1 uh, would be up there. In fact, I would yeah, I would definitely say that for a respawn shooter, Battlefield 1 is my favourite favorite game. Um, and the reason for this is because it, it's a really fun shooter. That's the, that's the main thing. Um, the mechanics are fantastic. Um, and also the subject that it takes on, World War One, was really unusual at the time, and we were very worried after Battlefield Four, you know, the success of Battlefield Four, that how could Battlefield One was all trenches? But Dice, I think that the team that made Battlefield One at Dice were a development team at the top of their powers, and I think they created something that we'll never see again because they treated the subject with reverence and respect, and you can see this if you play the single player campaign. Um, and also they really put lots of imagination into the multiplayer so yes okay so there's lots of automatic weapons and experimental weapons that weren't really in <laughs> in world war one in great numbers if at all but things like um the the locations that you fight in and the music oh gosh the music anyway it's absolutely fantastic anyway so it's a fantastic game it runs really well on the steam deck um you, you can probably see, you know, we've got two lots of diff footage running here. We've got uh, video capture footage, which is captured out of the uh, video out from the Steam Deck. And that's where you can see the more detailed um, uh, stats on what's happening. And we're getting between 50 and 60 frames a second. Now, I lock my Steam Deck to 60 frames a second anyway, just to preserve battery life. So it would probably go even higher than 60 frames a second if it wanted to. Um, it, it's pretty smooth. You Sometimes you get you get chunky bits when, I guess, things are loading in. And I guess the graphical settings, I think I've set them around, around to medium because on the small screen of the Steam Deck, you don't need high, super high-res textures because you, you, you simply cannot tell the difference. But it runs really, really well. It's fantastic. Um, and I think it's a really amazing game. Now, one of the big catches, though, with Battlefield 1 is that it came out in 2016, I think it was. Um, and what that means 
is that there's not that many people playing it anymore. Um, so what I tend to find is in the UK anyway. I have to if I want to game better for one. I have to play in the evenings because that's when the Americans have got up and they're playing, and then you can get some servers and get get people playing. Um, so, but if I was to turn it on, say in the morning, say between I don't know, nine o'clock and eleven o'clock, I might may well not be able to get on a server because there's not enough people playing. Um, <coughs> I think enough people still love this game that it's going to go on for a while. I always have the hope that one day Dice will revisit these battlefields, these older battlefields, and do something whereby they can use um, AI bots to fill the um, to fill the matches to keep the game alive. Because honestly, it is you will have some amazing cinematic moments in Battlefield One. Um, some and we talk about battlefield moments. But they're not the silly Battlefield moments that you get from, say, Battlefield 2042, or, sorry to say this, but games like, you know, like Battlefield 4, where you'll get someone in a jet, they jump out of the jet, and they use an RPG on, a, on another jet, and then they get back in the jet. You don't get that sort of Battlefield moment, but you get these amazingly emotional moments with, like, biplanes flying and, and dogfighting above your head while a tank is trundling towards you, which is being attacked by a man on horseback. All, you know, all this amazing stuff, and... Um, yeah, and and the music just takes it one better. So for me, well, as performance-wise, it performed brilliant on Steam Deck. Absolutely love it. Should you buy and play it? If you've already got a Steam Deck, then um, yeah, you should definitely get Battlefield 1. Get it when it's in the sale. Normally they do a bundle where you can get Battlefield 4, Battlefield 5, uh, Battlefield 1 and 2042, for, I think I for 20 quid or something. <laughs> you know, and th those are the ones. That, they're worth playing. Battlefield 4 is obviously worth playing. Battlefield 5 is is a misstep but for 2042 was a massive misstep which is actually quite playable now and it does have some uh, some interesting aspects but i'll save that for another video but battlefield one very very good in fact if you're a really massive battlefield one fan it may even yeah i don't i don't know whether i should say this or not but it may well even be worth the price of a mission of buying a steam deck for if you're a massive fan and you've got you know loads of disposable income because it just looks so good and the beauty of it is that it means that i can just pick up my steam deck and i can just jump into a game of battlefield one I, and if you're wondering battlefield one when you when you jump into it yes it does have long load times but it's always had long load times it's something they never bothered to optimize properly and i, I can quickly play a couple of rounds of conquest and i'm not only am i having a good time but i also feel i'm doing my part to keep the game alive anyway i've waffled on enough Hopefully there'll be some game footage for you to watch as well. What do you think? Put your questions in the comments down below and I will of course see you again soon.